All right, silly people, here's the situation. Uh, Griffiths is telling us that a uh, function of a Dirac delta d1 is equal to another um, function of a Dirac delta d2 if uh, these integrals with an f of x um, it are, are equal to each other. Um, and then the d1, d2 that he asks us to check is this delta function of cx and this uh, delta x over mod c. Um, so first of all, I'm going to check the integral over all space of f of x with delta cx. And so we need that function of x to be a function of cx instead. Um, so effectively, we're going to um, multiply by c over c, so multiply by 1. Uh, so the function will be of cx, and then we'll have a mod c on the bottom uh, to normalize that. And now it, we have a chronic delta, no, 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 it's a direct delta cx. Um, and then now this is just a normal delta function integral where we just have the function at zero, so you set cx to zero, and then over mod c, and that's going to be the result. Um, similarly, if we take our other Dirac function, we have just delta x over mod c already, um, so we just get the function at zero, so you set x to zero, um, but then still carry through the mod c on the bottom. And these two uh, results match. So um, we can definitely say that the delta function of cx is equal to the delta function of x divided by mod c. And that's pretty cool. Um, also, the question asks us about the derivative of the heavy side function, where the heavy side function is uh, defined as being 1 uh, for x greater than 0 and 0 for x less than 0. So it's kind of hard to take a derivative of that uh, from a purely mathematical, like algebraic formalism, so I'm actually going to draw it. Uh, and that needs to be a completely vertical line. That's the trick. Uh, so here's the heavy side function uh, as a function of x. And so I'm going to draw x axis here. x, and then this is at 0. And you can see that it has the value of 0 here and 1 here. OK. So we're actually going to split it into three regions, um, <clears throat> one of which we are going to, okay, so split it into three regions. Um, this is a flat line, so the slope of that line is zero, so we can say that the derivative of zero for x less than zero. For x equal to zero, we have a perfectly straight line. So the slope is infinity. So it has to be infinity for x equals 0. And also, the derivative in this region is also 0 because that's also just a flat line um, of 0 slope. So it's 0 for x greater than 0. And that is actually just the definition of a Dirac delta at that point. So yeah, you can definitely say that the derivative of the heavy side function is the direct delta function. All right.